in order for the rudder to be attached and to rotate it needs a hole in here and through this hole we'll pass a bolt there will also be a corresponding hole on each side of this rudder top part and that will be the rotation point for the rudder it needs to have a bushing in it much like the center board let's see uh, 18 millimeters we need to drill that 18 mil hole get a couple of these bushings in there not to forget, I have to uh, put some uh, scores in so that the epoxy will grip them a little bit better. Yeah, get this old thing out again. Well, now I've got the contraption set up and I've got it all clamped into place. And it is directly over the point here where we need to drill the hole. This moves freely up and down but constrained to the vertical position. I just need to attach my drill on top of here and make sure we have the 18mm <laughs> bit in, which we do, and then just uh, gently drill downward. Yep, so we got a lovely hole right through there. Should be exactly perpendicular. One of these should fit right in, which it does. In fact, we'll need two of them fit, well, almost perfectly. That's lovely. Got a couple of other holes to drill here as well. This hole here is for the up hole, and this hole here is for the down hole. Just got to examine how they work. Drill hole at appropriate angle. Hmm, so does that mean that the down hole is supposed to come through into this groove or is it supposed to be like the up hole here and have some sort of pin going through well that's just the mystery isn't it maybe i'll have to do some uh, investigations well it says here down hole gets knotted in hole in blade up to auto release cleared on tiller hmm <clears throat> i think that means that I have a groove here and a hole perpendicular to the surface here going down about halfway and then a sort of drill a channel in there. This hole would be just thick enough for the uh, rope which uh, what do we say 3 16th lines. I don't have my calculator here but 3 16th lines is I don't know this much in metric and then this hole will be larger so it can accommodate a knot in that Let's see if we can do that so this should give us about 16 mils of depth got the 6 mil bit on now for a uh, 5 mil line so that should be good Do a bit of a groove in here. Well, I got a bit of a formal line here. I think it's maybe four and a half. Yeah, I'll just uh, test to see if this works. A little bit of wire here to try and hook it. There we go. Okay, so I can do that. And uh, if I just try an overhand knot in there. Pull that back through. I think that's what they're getting at. So that knot can't go through to the smaller hole and uh, comes out here and it sits in this groove. Now, this groove I don't think is quite deep enough because this is a 4mm line. I'm going to use 5, so I'll just have to cut that a little bit deeper. That should be more or less what the plans go for, I think. This one's a bit trickier. I kind of have to carve out that shape, which like looks a little bit like that. Those little squares in my drawings. I've got my 6mm bit here. I just put a little tape on there, so that kind of indicates the uh, maximum depth here. Just going to kind of have at it. Draw a little uh, guide here to help me on my way.
Well, I've done some measurements, and I think the hole should be here. But I'm going to move it a tiny bit down here, just in case. And if I've got it right, everything will be fine. If I've got it wrong, it'll be slightly annoying, because I'll have to re-drill the hole. So I've decided I'm just going to get it right. Well. Now this bit's been cut, and this bit's been cut. Hopefully they fit together properly. It looks like things line up pretty well. I just need a bolt. Not a permanent bolt. Oh, it's not even the right size. This... Well that's not either. <laughs> Here are the test bolts that I was using for uh, centerboard. Well, that's in. And, uh, I think I'd call that success, wouldn't you? <laughs> Told you I was just going to get it right the first time. Demonstration of the rudder mechanism. Pull on the up hole. This will be attached to the driller at one point, but pull on the up hole. Oh, and then the rudder's all the way up. You clip that off somewhere. And then I'm going to put the rudder down, more or less just to kind of have to let it down, it goes down most of the way, and then pull on the downhaul, cleat that off, and the rudder is uh, in the downward position, and uh, it's going to stay there. Up. Down with the downhaul. I think uh, this is looking pretty good, so I'm happy with that. I have some uh, pintles and gudgeons coming, but uh, they probably won't arrive for another couple of weeks, so uh, I'll leave the rudder until then, and then it'll be time to attach the pintles and gudgeons, and then I can get this bad boy mounted on the uh, stern.